Where is he? He's sitting in his bedroom. Oh, fine. Now, if you don't mind. Roger! Mrs. Baxter, before you go in there, I'd like to talk to you. I would appreciate it if you would just leave. I thank you for your help. Goodbye, Dr. Clem. Mrs. Baxter, Roger is very ill. What the hell are you talking about? I spoke to the doctor last night. I know what he said. Now, get out of here. Roger! He won't hear you. Oh, won't he? Well, we'll just see about that. Roger! Roger! I thought I told you to leave. Please let me explain something to you. And then you go in there quietly and see for yourself. You get out of my way, Roger! He won't even see you. He is sick. He is a very sick little boy. Roger, get up. You are not going to sit there on that floor and not talk to me or listen to me. Mrs. Do you Baxter, understand? Please. Get out. Get up. He has to go back to the hospital. He does not need a hospital. I know what he's doing. Listen to me. You are going to talk to me. Do you understand? You are going to talk to me. Do you understand? Run. Stop it. Ah! <laughs> Look at him, Mrs. Baxter. Look at him. Look at him. He's my son. I'm his mother. This is between him and me. It is personal. Do you understand? So is this. <laughs> I hate violence, Mrs. Baxter. And tomorrow I'm going to hate myself for this. But right now, I warn you, if you so much as move, I'm gonna break you into little pieces. 